Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are dialing from. Really excited to have you all here and really glad to have this opportunity to present updates on the Microsoft Graph API for SharePoint Pages. I'm DC Padur, I'm a product manager, and I'm on behalf of my awesome engineering team here at the SharePoint uh, team in Redmond and also in uh, <clears throat> Suzhou, China. Uh, they all worked on putting together these awesome experiences. As a quick recap, <clears throat> we actually, uh, almost to the year ago, is when we went GA with the first ever Graph API for creating modern SharePoint pages. So we started with uh, uh, basic support for creating and editing pages and news posts with 14 popular web parts and third-party web parts. And a lot of read-only actions are possible with more uh, more web parts as well. And we are doing some validation on the client side and server side for the payload that's being sent over. So this has been widely used in the past year. And on our side, we've been working on updates to our beta endpoint so we can bring in much asked functionality since the time we had uh, announced. And what I want to talk to you about today is the support for custom page templates and the uh, concept of a uh, news link. Um, I'm going to get into the demo time. I want to explain the scenario from the UX point of view and then provide a, a demo, a quick demo of how we have APIs available and use the Graph Explorer to see that it actually works. And um, I just dropped the links to the documentation for the beta API. It's available right now, but we, I, I'm working with Vesa to get a blog post out to officially mark the rollout. So that will also be done in the next couple of days. So, but yeah, this, these uh, the custom page template support and the news link support is available for you in the beta endpoint right away and look forward to all the usage and the feedback. So um, I will, it says coming to beta, but technically it's already there. Uh, I wanna, I'm gonna do a, a scenario of listing custom page templates using the API, pick one of the templates and create a post and then publish the post. And then the third scenario is just creating and publishing a news link post. So let me just all uh, switch to sharing my screen with the tenant that's logged in. So we'll, just so we understand the, the holistic concept of where these things get used. So uh, <clears throat> this is just a simple portal with a one news web part uh, you know, for simplicity, I've just added one news web part to the home page of this portal, and it's pretty much fetching the news from this specific portal. So, a lot of scenarios with news creators is where they have standard templates that are created, which are saved on the site itself. And then every so often, every week, every Monday morning, there is a process for, hey, here is a template, add the content into this template and publish it. So what we are providing here is a programmatic way of bringing that life, uh, that, that experience to be. So <clears throat> for the sake of the demo, I have uh, pre-created a bunch of, a couple of templates in here. Uh, it's in the, in an obvious uh, templates folder under the site pages library. I have my trusty graph explorer here, <clears throat> and I am going to uh, connect to this Beta endpoint, I have a one note on my other side where I have a list of links. So if you look at me, I'm, I'm looking at that link in there. So I'm going to get the list um, of templates from this root site, where <clears throat> providing the, uh, the new page type that we've created, which is page template. You run and you basically get a OK 200 success. It basically lists the templates that I showed you in the UX. Um, uh, with, with the IDs that we can use for referencing. Um, this is not the response I'm looking for. Let me try that again. Okay, now let me go update the beta endpoint and then run the query. Up, oh, all right, site page.
Okay, so we get the list of uh, the the full details of all the uh, templates that were that were available in in that site. So next, what I'm going to do is create a page from site. So for that, I'm going to do a post operation to the same beta endpoint, and I'm going to call uh, the method to create page from template. Um, and I have already created the uh, request body in here, pre-created it, picked up a specific template, and run it. And there is a page created right there. So what we would see is if you go back in the UX, so uh, new post from the template demo, this page has been created. So the next step here would be to promote the page uh, typically, all of these things get created as a SharePoint page, and then you set the promoted state of the page to be news post, publish the page, and then that item will then show up in the home page as a news item. So now let me do a patch update to the beta endpoint. And I am going to pick up the uh, page ID from here. I'm composing a URL to post to. So in my one in my one note in here. So I bring that over. As you can see, uh, the the page ID is part of the URL that I'm posting to. And in the, the request body, I'm going to add uh, this content in here, which is promotion kind is news post. I'm just gonna run the query. I got OK, so the promotion kind has been set. And the last step here is to actually post uh, the item. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to add the publish method to the URL in, uh, in here, and then I'm going to run. <laughs> and I got that. So now if I go to the home page, So the news play a news post from template now shows up as a published news item. I skipped over the part where when you have a new a page created from a template, you can then go add content and modify the content. So that's 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 the capability that's already available in the pages API. So you use the beta API to create a page from the template and update the content promote it to be a news post and then publish the news post, which then makes it show up in the uh, in your news web part as a news item. So that's the first uh, feature that we will uh, uh, most ask feature in our, through, through the API uh, forums, and we are ha happy to have that roll out. So the next item I want to talk about is the news link post. So uh, one of the things we've heard from our uh, you know, portal owners and corporate communicators is news is not just always internal. Sometimes it's the same communication team that's also pushing out content into the public internet, which is very typical in our Microsoft case as well. In our own internal portal, a whole bunch of news goes to, to the public on our Microsoft public blogs. And we would also like to have that reposted internally as a uh, as their, our portal news item. So we have a, a, a feature in SharePoint, which has been in the UX for about five, seven years now, is the idea of a news link feature where you can plug in any URL uh, and create a SharePoint news experience out of that, and that will automatically show up as a news item in there. Now what we have doing is provide an API where uh, you can imagine large organizations with uh, you know, publishing teams that are globally spread out. You might have bespoke processes or applications or, or, or some other tech that is used to you know, collate content from different sources and rank it, and then have a programmatic way where every Monday morning, pick the top five trending news about your organization and post it as SharePoint news on your internet portal so that your, uh, your employees have an option to uh, and have the ability to quickly catch up on that news if they missed it in their in their public internet sources, right? So to be able to promote your company news, your industry relevant news within your organization, NewsLink is a great feature. So now I'm going to go to the Graph Explorer again, and uh, 
I am going to post to. Uh, the beta endpoint this time. I have a request body here. Which is provides the old data type to be the news link page type and I provide the news web URL, which is the URL for the actual item in the in, in the public Internet. And then I've provided a title so it becomes identifiable in our in our news web part. But you you get the point of having a, 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 a convenient title for your specific news item. So I'm going to run this thing. It ends up creating the item. The next I'm going to do is. Uh, <clears throat> go in here, I'll show you this. Ah, there you go. All right, now the item is created, and now I have an ID in here. I'm going to pick up this ID. <clears throat> I'm composing the URL where then I can <laughs> publish this item. Typically, with the Pages API, <clears throat> every time you create these pages, they get saved as draft versions. You have the option to go make updates and then actually do the publish call to actually get the item published. So now I have composed the public URL for this particular page. You can see the same ID matches in here. And I'm going to post to beta uh, publish. There you go. And then it's published. Now I'm going to go refresh the home page of my portal. And you have the news link post via API demo. So uh, one of the options also available with the news link page, and I'm going to walk you through the resources in here, is you have a couple of options for creating. What I demonstrated now through uh, Graph Explorer was to create the news link page only with the required property, which is the title and the URL. But you could also add a banner image, an image that goes with the item, and you could do that with a multi-part uh, uh, call uh, and provide the image itself in the call, and or you could update it in the in the secondary call and have that be available in the image as well in the in the news item as well. So, um, recap. Come on, PowerPoint Live. Okay, so. Um, We've been GA for over a year. We have a public API uh, for with the V1.0, a fully supported graph API. And we are going to be adding more features and more web part support over the years, uh, over the next coming months and, and semester. So please give us feedback on what specifically you'd like. And very excited to uh, right now, the demo that we just did is support for the custom page template and news link, which are available right now in the beta endpoint. And very soon we'll bring it to the V1.0, but it's in beta right now for a few months to make sure that we get all the bugs out. And uh, this is where we'd love to have the community support in testing it out and giving us feedback. And uh, that's all I had, Vesa.